Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to add multiple drives to Space Acres. One quick note before we get started, this guide is for Space Acres 0.0.13. If you are on a different version, this guide may not be accurate, it may not even be needed, as it might have been added to the graphical user interface. But currently, in this version, you need to actually add it through the config file. It's super easy, and I'm going to go through all the steps in this video. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is with Space Acres open, you're going to want to open up the menu. Now, right now, you can see in this video here, my icon is kind of broken. You might see a hamburger icon with the three... Uh, horizontal lines but for me I just have this little it's like a triangle with an exclamation point you're gonna want to click that it's going to bring up this menu here and you're gonna want to click the system button oh there actually is a drop-down menu you'll click about and then you'll uh, get this and then you'll click system and then you're gonna see config directory it's kind of small and hard to read here uh, it's actually small and hard to read on my system in Space Acres, but there is a config file here, or, or config directory, and you're just going to, you can copy it or you can just navigate to it manually. And you should see this config.json once you get there. So let me bring up my file explorer. So as you can see, I have this config.json. Now that is what I'm going to want to modify to add a second drive. So I will open that with my notepad here. And let me share it real quick. All right, so I have Notepad up here, and you're going to see there's this Farms section, and I have one drive listed here right now. If I wanted to add a second drive, I can just copy-paste this. So I'm going to put a trailing comma, because we need a trailing comma between the two. And then I'm going to just press Enter, paste in a second version of it. Now, delete the trailing comma, uh, because you don't want to have any comma on the last entry in a list like this. If you leave this comma here, you're going to get an error when you start Space Acres. So make sure you delete that comma. You still want the one between the two entries though. And then we're just going to update the path. So let me grab the path that I'm going to be using. And I actually just, um, let me move this down, move this up. Oh, you can't actually see it, but uh, it's just a black space on the top here. But what I'm doing is just copying the path from my file explorer, and then I'm going to just paste it right in here in the config. Now, one change we have to do is add an extra slash because we need double slashes in here for Windows. If you're on Linux, you probably don't need those extra slashes. And then I'm going to keep it as 256 Gibby bytes, but if you want to change the size, you can change it by updating the size here. Then I'm just going to do File, Save. You can see the context menu, but I'm just saving this file, and then I'm going to close it. And then same with my File Explorer. I no longer need this. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then I'm going to, so here's Space Acres. See, I have just one drive farming. I'm going to go ahead and close Space Acres. And then I'm just going to bring it back up. And what we should see is now we have two drives listed here. Now, for you, it's going to go through the piece cache. It's going to be setting up the piece, piece cache first. Uh, I've already done that. You can see I'd already connected this drive just for testing uh, before I made this video. But once you finish the piece cache, you'll be able to start farming that drive. So it's pretty easy. You can add more than one. Um, I wouldn't recommend adding, you know, 10 drives. Uh, typically, you know, two or three drives is fine. Um, but if you want to add more and test it out, we are in testnet. So it is perfect time for testing and seeing how the performance is. And 
other than that, this is how you do it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.